All right. Thank you so much, Mac. <laughs> Again, like Mac already said, my name is Mia Jones Halverson. And first of all, I want to say happy Juneteenth to everybody. I'm going to share a little bit about the history of jazz. And I'll talk about several areas of jazz music and also contributions of many artists. So are you ready? Let's do it. Jazz is a music genre that originated in African-American communities of New Orleans in the late 19th and early 20th centuries and developed from roots in blues. With ragtime being the earliest ancestor of jazz music, the sound of jazz is characterized by swing and blue notes, the black keys, call and response vocals, polyrhythms, and improvisation. But before we can discuss the eras of jazz music, we must first acknowledge its roots and connection to blues music. Known for its relatable storytelling, the blues became widely popular even before jazz music in the fields of plantations. We may know them as work songs. However, the enslaved were singing songs of spirituals, call and response, or field hollers. I'm going to sing a spiritual for you called Swing Low and Sweet Chariot. That song was entitled Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Now, when you think of early jazz, you think of blues. And when you think of blues, you think of gospel. Most blues artists started out singing in church. So you will hear the gospel influence on the sound of blues. It was storytelling for most people. They could holler in blues music and felt most free and connected to who they were. 
This genre was largely characterized by its ability to express simple words and emotion through song. Our first artist, Robert Johnson, was born in 1913 and died in 1933. He was from Mississippi. He was one of the pioneers of blues. His sound was characterized by a raw and deep sound using the steel guitar. It was called the Delta Blues. He traveled through the deep south of Mississippi Delta, playing in juke joints with his country blues. Robert often used a blues form called the AAB form. It was also called the 12 bar blues. AAB pattern is a very common structure in blues music where the first two lines are the same. And then the third line is a little different, but it rhymes and it completes the story. For example, I wrote a little ditty this morning and I hope you enjoy it. It's an AAB blues form. Here it is. I woke up this morning singing songs with Juneteenth. I said I woke up this morning singing John songs with Juneteenth. I want to thank CME. Thank them for having me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is the AAB blues form. See, now you can go home and write an AAB blues song for yourself. Now, artists in this era include artists like Ma Rainey, Big Mama Thornton, Bessie Smith, Mamie Smith. And these artists eventually influenced other popular artists like Etta James. Muddy Waters, B.B. King, and Sister Rosetta Thorpe. Now, early jazz all began in the 1910s and it originated in African-American communities. Jazz music developed in New Orleans, like I said earlier. It combined big brass band marches, ragtime, and blues music all mixed together. Now the word jazz, J-A-S-S, later changed into jazz, J-A-Z-Z. -Z. It appeared in print in 1913. 1922 is when race records were created. These were sound recordings of the earliest 20th century that were made exclusively by and for African-Americans. Race records were a segregation of music by race. And it was much easier to exploit and underpay Black artists than it was their white ones. It was later replaced by what we now know as rhythm and blues or R&B after World War II. Some artists in this era were Scott Joplin, Jelly Roll Morton, Fats Waller, and Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Louis Armstrong. <laughs> He was born in 1901 and died in 1971. He was an American jazz trumpeter. He grew up in a home for boys, and that's where he learned and developed his talent for jazz. King Oliver was one of his biggest influences, and he had the opportunity to later join his band in New Orleans. He is deemed the first to ever skip on a record in 1926 in his song called Heebie Jeebies. Now, scatting, some of you may know this, is a technique that you may have heard on a jazz record. Instead of singing the words, the vocalist or instrumentalist would use short syllables sung around the melody. Syllables like ba, dot, shooby do, or many more things. Louis was quoted telling the story of what happened and how he developed scatting. He said, I dropped the paper with the lyrics right in the middle of the tune. And I did not want to stop and spoil the record, which was moving along so wonderfully. So when I dropped the paper, I immediately turned back to the horn and started scatting. And just as nothing had ever happened, when I finished the record, I just knew the recording people would throw it out. And to my surprise, they all came running out the controlling booth and said, leave that in. <laughs> Can you believe that? That's how he developed scatting. So next, I'm going to sing for you a really nice tune that Louis Armstrong loved called Ain't Misbehaving. Mm -hmm. 
talking all by myself. No one to walk with. I'm happy on a ship. Misbehaving, saving my love for you and you and you and you. I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting. It's just you that I'm dreaming of. In this behaving, saving my love for you. Well, I track harder in a corner. Don't go nowhere. What do I care? All your kisses is what I'm dreaming of. Please believe me. I don't stay out late, nowhere to go. I'm home about eight, just me and my radio. And misbehaving, saving my love for you. Do be do do, do be do be do be do be do be do do be do be do do about another artist in the early jazz named Bessie Smith. She was born in 1894 and died in 1937. She was nicknamed the Empress of the Blues. She came on the scene in about 1923 or so. She combined her sound of root, her sound roots and field hollers and a little bit of jazz sophistication. She was known to have power in her voice that would reach to the balconies with no microphone. Now, the music of this time reflected what was going on around them. During this time, the country was experiencing a Great Depression from 1929 to 1933. And therefore, a song like Bessie Smith's Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out was created. This song was an anthem for so many people. Once I feel the life of a millionaire Spending my money out I didn't care Thank you. 